This is Neko July 2023 General Mathematics Paper 2 and we are answering question number 12 and the question reads the scores of students in a biology test in a particular school are given as 12x15, 2x25, 12x30, 15, 25, 12, 16, and 12. If the mean score is 18, that is the mean of this course is 18, and the question asks is to find the question number A, the value of 2x, question number B, the mean division, and the question number C, the standard division of this scores. So let's attempt to answer this very question together. What you do first is to convert this data from raw data into tabular form. And you now consider the numbers that appear more than once. So you make it in tabular form with the frequencies appropriately. Let me just do that. You can read. This is the score. I have score 12 with the frequency 4. If you now check 12, you have 1, 2, 3, Four. So this data or this code that is 12 appear four times. So I have the frequency for 15 appears one, two times. So it has frequency two. So I converted this from row data into a tabular data. So I will now attempt to get uh, the mean of course is given. That will enable me to find x. If I now find x, I can now find uh, what will now be this the two x. So the formula for calculating mean will now be equals to mean equals to summation fx all over summation f. So to do that, you need to find what is fx. You get the summation of fx, and you need to get the summation of f. Then you can now substitute in this the very formula. So let me get fx. fx means f times the corresponding x. So 4 multiplied by 12, that gives answer 48. 2 multiplied by 15, that give answer 30. 1 times 16, that give answer 16. Then 2 times 25, 50. 1 times 30, 30. 1 times x is x. 1 times 2x, that gives you 2x. So this is my fx. So what I'm going to do now, to get this summation fx, I'm going to add all these values here. So addition of 40, 30, 16, 50, 30, x, and 2x correctly gives you this very expression, 174 plus 3x. That is when you are collecting like terms. All the numbers put together gives you 174, and x plus 2x gives you this 3x. Similarly, the summation of f, if you add this in the frequencies correctly, it will give you answer 12. Then you can now substitute in this very formula. The mean is 18. Summation fx is now 174 plus 3x. And the summation f is now this 12. If that substitution is done correctly, you have a 3 equals to 174 plus 3x divided by 12. This will enable you to find x here by cross multiplying. When you cross multiply, you now have 174 plus 3x by the left equals to 216. That is 18 multiplied by 12. That gives you 216. Then collect it like times 174, shifted it to the right and becomes minus. You now have 3x equals to 42. Divide both sides by the coefficient of x, which is 3 to get x. That gives you x as 14. So this is x. Then you can now use this value of x to find what is the 2x. So therefore, 2x is now going to be 2 multiplied by 14, and that gives answer 28. So question number A has now been answered. So now move to question number B. Question number B, we ask to write or to find the mean deviation of this course. So we now write the formula for finding the mean deviation. Mean deviation equals to summation F multiplied by the absolute value of the deviation, which is small letter D. Divide everything by summation F, so which means in my table, I need to have uh, this uh, column for D, the column for the absolute value of D, and the column for F times absolute value of D. Let me just write it. So I need to have D, the deviation, the absolute value of the deviation, and the product of the absolute value by the corresponding frequencies. So let me just get the deviation first. So you now take each and every score and subtract the mean from it. So I'll now have 12 minus 18 
that give answer minus 6. Next score is 15 minus the demand that to give answer minus 3. I'll continue like that. So 16 minus 18 that give answer minus 2. 25 minus 18 that give answer positive 7. 30 minus 18 that give answer positive 12. And this very x which I have here as 14, then 14 minus 18 that give answer minus 4. And this the 2x which we said is 28 minus this 18, the mean that give answer this very 10. So next is to get the absolute value of each and every division here. The absolute value simply means just to take the number, disregard if it were negative like this 6, I'll just write the 6 there instead of minus 6. This minus 3, I'll just write 3, that is the absolute value. Those that were positive, just write them. So now I'm going to have 2, 7, 12, 4, and 10. Then I'll now take each and every absolute value of the division multiplied by the corresponding frequency. So in this case, 6 times 4, that what gives me 24 here. 3 times this to 2, that gives me 6. So I'll continue like that. 2 times 1, that gives me 2. 7 times 2, 14. 12 times 1 is 12. 4 times 1 is 4. And this to 10 times this one gives me 10. This is my F times absolute value of the deviation. So I'm going to sum all this that will give me my numerator here in my mean division. So adding this value is 24, 6, 2, up to this correctly, you now have 72. You have the summation F already, which is 12. So substituted in the formula for mean division, you now have 72 divided by 12. And if this division is done correctly, you now have answer 6. This is now the mean division of this distribution. So last is to get this very standard deviation. The standard deviation, the formula says, uh, is root of uh, f d square divided by summation f. So you need to have a column for d square and another column for f times d square. This is your d already, so you need to have d square e and f d square. Let me just write it. So this is d square. So each and every division, I'll square it. So starting with minus 6, minus 6 square, that give answer 36. Minus 3 square, that give answer 9. So I'll continue minus 2 square, that give answer 4. 7 square, 49. 12 square, 144. Minus 4 square, 16. And 10 square, that give answer 100. So I'll now take each and every d square and multiply it by the corresponding f. So like this first one, 36 times 4, that gives result 144. So 9 times this 2, that gives answer 18. 4 times 1 give answer 4, like that 49 times 2. 144 times 1, 16 times 1, 100 times 1. This is what I'm going to have. So I'm going to add all these numbers to get the sum. That will now be the numerator here. So summation of this square, that is 144 plus 18 plus 4 up to this 100. If you do it correctly, you now have 524. You have your summation f already, which is this 12. So I'm going to substitute in this formula, standard division. So it's now going to be square root of uh, 252 divided by 12. This is the division. And taking the root, if done correctly, you now have... Uh, Result is 6.6. .6. This will now be the standard division of this distribution. And that answered all the three questions. So let me just share with you quickly how marks are distributed as it is contained in the official NECO marking scheme of this very question. So the very first mark is the method one mark. And this method one mark is when you now substitute your summation f x divided by summation f in the formula for finding mean that gives you this method one mark. And when you now solve the data, you now find x r 14 exactly. You have this accuracy one mark. And when you now use the x as 14 to get the 2x exactly equals to 28, that gives you this bonus one mark. So question number A here has a total of three marks. If I move to question number B, that is the mean division. 
the marks were like this. So the very first mark uh, is this method one mark, and this method one mark is forgetting this f times the absolute value of the deviation. That gives you this method one mark. And when you now have the sum of all f and the absolute value of the deviation are 72 exactly, you have this accuracy one mark. The next mark is substituting in the formula for finding mean deviation. That is your summation f and your is summation fd. That gives you method one mark here. And when you now divide and get the answer as your mean division, exactly six, you have this accuracy one mark. So the mean division, that is question number B, when you do it correctly, you now have four good marks. Then the last question, the standard deviation. Standard deviation and the max distribution were like this. You also have method one mark for finding FD square. And for finding summation FD square, that gives answer accuracy one mark if you have five to four. And what you now substitute in the formula for finding standard deviation, that is your summation FD square and your summation F in the formula you have this method one mark. And in attempt to simplify dividing and taking the square root, you have another method one mark. And when you now have the standard division exactly equals to 6.6 .6 accurately, you have this accuracy one mark. So in total question number C, if you did it correctly, you have five good marks. So in the total of this question number 12, has 12 marks. If you add three, four, and this five, you have 12 good marks.